What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another video, man. <laughs> wow, 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 man. Tonight, I'm going to talk about tonight's historic Monday night showdown. You had the Los Angeles Rams beating the Kansas City Chiefs 54 to 51 in the highest scoring game in Monday night football history. And I want to say the second or third highest scoring game in the in NFL history, period. Like, it's like, man, where do I get started, man? You know, but, um, oh, well, I know, man. Before I even get into the game and everything and this and that, man, I want to send prayers out to everybody who's in the Los Angeles era, area who, uh, who dealt with the wildfires, man, and everybody who was involved or know someone who was involved in the shooting. You know, that's not what's up, man. The wildfires, unfortunately, I know that's a thing that go on out there. Hopefully, we could come up with some type of ways to try to stop these things. And the shooting, man, you know, it's just a, it's just an unfortunate thing that's going on in this world, man. We need to find, you know, not saying this guy who did the shooting had mental health issues, but we need to find a way, man, to get people with mental health issues and people with anger issues more help, more counseling, more more understanding and just try to help them to cope with whatever they're going through. You know, it's a movement that we got to do, man, to to make our world a safer place, you know, for our kids and our grandkids and stuff like that, man. Prayers to everybody out in the L.A. area, man. You know, but um, with that being said, man, with the game, man, it's like, wow, like, where do I get started, man? You know, the, the Rams came out, man, jumped out to a 13-0 lead. You know, the Chiefs came back, man, cut the lead to 16-10. You know, then they came out, took the lead again. You know, then it was back and forth, back and forth. Then you look again, man, it's a 23-23 game at halftime. Second half, man, you just had fireworks everywhere, man. You know, you had the Rams getting, you know, a touchdown from um, Jared Goff, you know, through a touchdown pass. A couple of them, I want to say, to Everett. You know what I'm saying? You had Mahomes hitting Tyreek Hill on a deep touchdown pass. Also hitting Kelsey on a touchdown pass. You know, you had two defensive touchdowns for the Rams. You had one defensive touchdown for the Chiefs. And, I mean, this game was just nip and tuck, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, man. You know, till towards the end, you know, the – um. The Chiefs went out there and took the lead, man. You know, Mahomes hit Tyreek Hill on a long touchdown pass, like a 70-something yarder. Then they got the strip sack when the ball landed right into one of their defensive tackles' hands, and they went in the end zone and took took a um took a 51 to 47 lead. Then here come Gar Jared Goff again, man, and he hit Gerald Everett, Everett on another a 40-yard touchdown pass, man. Chiefs get the ball back. Mahomes trying to go deep, man, his arm gets hit, and of all people, the former first-round pick of the Kansas City Chiefs, Marcus Peters, gets the interception. Then the Rams get the ball back, man. They know him with the Chiefs working on the other side. They go three straight passes and end up not burning much time off the clock and leaving the Chiefs with a timeout. Mahomes gets the ball back, man. He tried to go deep to Tyreek Hill, and it got picked off. By LaMarcus Joyner, man, he went down, Rams take a knee, and that's all she wrote, man. But, man, for the Chiefs, these, and the Chiefs and the Rams, man, these two teams are legitimately two Super Bowl contenders, man. These teams are both amazing, man. It's funny that right now, man, you know, they give up a lot of yards and points and stuff like that. The Chiefs missing their, their best defensive player in Eric Berry. You know, the Rams missing their best uh, cornerback, man, in the keep to lead. So you would think when both those teams get those players back, they'll tighten up a little bit on defense, man. But, like, man, the, the, but even with that being said, man, they got people on defense that can make plays. Justin Houston is still one of the best pass rushers, you know what I'm saying? Um, Chris Jones, man, is out there, like, getting a bunch of sacks all the time. D Ford doing this thing, man. You know, in the Rams, man, you got, my goodness, man, Aaron Donald. How in the hell, bro, does an interior, not a not an edge rusher, an interior D lineman 
constantly gets that much pressure on a quarterback, man. How this man leads the NFL in sacks, man. He has more sacks than games played, not to mention he held out, man. How does Aaron Donald does it? This guy, if he's not the best defensive player in the NFL, man, it's a travesty. I don't know who. I know they got some dogs out there defensively in the league. But, man, this guy here is unbelievable, man. You cannot block him. You can't block an interior lineman, man, gets pressure on the two strip sacks, man. Two strip sacks, yo. That's not even counting all the times, man, he was on Mahomes' tail and Mahomes was able to scramble away, man. This guy is dominant, man. I don't remember the last time, man. I don't know if Warren Sapp was, was like this, man. Like, John, I know John Randall was a pretty good interior pass rusher, man. And there's a couple of others who I just can't think of at the moment, man. But, like, this guy may arguably be the best, one of the best, if not the best, interior D-tackle pass rushes of all time. My goodness, man. This guy is unbelievable, man. Then you got Nadama Kinsu out there. You got Michael Brockers, man. Like, you know, Dante Fowler Jr. around the end, man. This guy, Everson, with two touchdowns, man. You know, man, Marcus Peters back there. You know, he he not really a number one shutdown corner, but he's very opportunistic. And you seen that tonight with the interception he got, man. You know, then you look at the you know on the offensive end, man. Jared Goff is, is in that system, man. Jared Goff is just absolutely amazing, man. He's out there looking like a little young Tom Brady, man. The way he's going through his progressions, man. The way he's standing tall in that pocket, man. The way he's delivering the ball with straight pinpoint accuracy, yo. Robert Woods is a solid receiver. Brandon Cooks, man, is a burner. You know, every look tonight, like, man, like, yo, it looked like they should use him. I was in here saying the Rams ain't got a tight end, man. Every looking like... He real legit, man, looking very athletic out there, can move around good, making big catches. You know, they're missing Cooper Cup, man, and his team is still putting up 50-plus points, man. You know, then you look at the Chiefs, man, you know, Patrick Mahomes, you know, Kareem Hunt, Tyreek Hill, oh, my goodness, this guy is just amazing. Travis Kelsey, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, th these two teams are amazing, man. The only issue which ended up being the big issue tonight, like I said, about Patrick Mahomes, which he's amazing, but the problem with him, man, he looked like he could, he reminds me of Brett Favre, man, meaning that he think he can make every throw, <clears throat> you know, and at times, man, he's going to be a little turnover prone, man, and you seen that tonight, man, he had five turnovers, man, you know, he had four, like, almost 500 yards passing, six touchdowns, but, like, he had five turnovers, man. Two fumbles and three picks, man. You know, that's the difference in this game, man. Jared Goff, I mean, he he fumbled a couple of times, got away with a with a with a pass that should have been intercepted by Skandrick. You know, it was a great uh play by the receiver to knock the ball out of his hand. But the difference in the game, man, is Mahomes turned the ball over a little more than Jared Goff, man. You know, that made the difference in the game. But besides that, man, what a game, what an atmosphere. And one more thing, man, I I'm I've been very critical of Rams fans, especially after that Green Bay Packers game, how it's like, how can y'all not really support a great team like y'all have? I got to give a bravo to the Rams fans tonight. They had some Kansas City Chiefs fans in there, but the Rams fans brought it tonight, man. Shout out to you, LA. Great job. Really great job by showing up tonight and supporting this great football team y'all have because, like, Y'all looked like tonight looked like y'all had a home field advantage, man, in a big game. And, like, these players and that team y'all have need that type of support from y'all. Bravo on y'all. Great job doing that tonight, man, and getting it done, man, helping y'all team get this W, man. But um, shout out to both teams, man. This, is, this was two great teams, played a great game, man. Chiefs fans ain't got nothing to hold your head down for, man. Y'all played great, just came up a little short. Rams fans, man, y'all legit, man. Y'all y'all legit is out of y'all and the Saints look like in the NFC, man. But with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all tonight, man. I appreciate y'all checking out the video. 
Go and give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have NFL content, man, throughout the season, man. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.